I basically practice on my own gardens so that I can get some sense of what'll work in other people's gardens. One of the exciting things about that is I get to work in 29 Palms or Pioneer Town where the plant choices have to be completely different. That's hard to remember that we're not all one desert and even the natives vary from area to area. So I get to explore using new plants to see where they do the best and how far I can push the zones. So overall at this property, which I own, I, I treat it like a test lab for different plants, climate conditions, placements, and this informs like the gardens that I do for other people. With climate change, I'm kind of branching out a little bit and, and experimenting with some Baja natives, which didn't used to work, but are now starting to work. And this is a plant that has worked for me in other parts of the state. I'm gonna try it here. So my logical first step is to put it in a spot where I have other Baja natives that are working. We'll see. And generally, I try and plant at least three of one thing that I'm trying out, put it in different places where I can see if it'll thrive. And I very rarely water at this property, so it's a real test of hardiness. A lot of people advise taking a rock, good-sized rock, and putting it on the south side of the plant to sort of keep the roots cool. So that's gonna hold in some of the moisture, it's gonna keep the roots cool, and it's going to help secure the root ball, which hasn't had a chance to anchor yet. So that's the euphorbia. Good luck, little guy. We love desert willows. They look beautiful when they're dormant. And of course, when they bust out and bloom, they're just incredible. I have no irrigation here anymore. I did at one time. And when I was establishing them, we buried these pipes in the ground. This is basically what's buried in the ground here. And if I ever want to water these, which is maybe once a year, when we have a really, really hot, dry summer, I pull the cap and simply put my hose down in, inside this. One thing I did that's really been helpful is I changed out all of these from the screw type, the threaded type, to the valves. And it's really, really clear when that's shut completely off. So that was a huge improvement that just took half a day. With a property this size, sometimes bringing in new plants, it's really difficult to maintain them. So you can see there are a bunch of small plants here. This is an area that was planted after the last native plant sale. And by putting everything in one place, I'm able to give it the same level of treatment to establish it instead of running to one side of the property for one plant, another side, going small area by small area in your own garden. I find that's a really manageable way to do it. Working in, on other people's gardens is really exciting because I get to work in different parts of the desert and there are plants that won't work everywhere. For example, this Augustifolia here isn't a plant that I get to use at my own house, even though I really love it. It needs the 29 palms heat and the milder winters to go. So we were able to use it here. We're in 29, which is considered USDA zone eight or nine, whereas Pioneer Town is seven. I believe we get out to Wonder Valley, it's even 10. Because the different areas have different heat and cold conditions, different plants have to be used. We're looking at a garden that's still in progress. The plantings went in the ground maybe two weeks ago. So it's a very immature garden, but we've gotten the big pieces in and defined the space. And we have a fairly complicated irrigation system here where each of the heads emits a different amount of water for conservation, but also for the plants. Boulders are such a great thing to use as furniture, as backdrops, other things. And they don't require any water over time. So even though they feel a little more expensive to install in the beginning, zero maintenance. One thing about pots is you can make some impulse purchases. 
things that might be a little too sensitive for the area, like this, but I just had to incorporate this for the color. This can be moved into a protected area in the winter, for example, with the pot. So this is untested. I'm not really even sure what this plant was, but I thought that the color complemented all the oranges and yellows that you find in the desert. I think you have to be willing to do a little bit of that beta testing of plants and accept that some plants are stronger than others, just as individuals, and that Finding the right place is not always uh, a thing that you can work out in your mind. You just have to experiment.